guys, welcome to part two of uh, this series in which we're creating an entire web design for a creative agency in Figma. If you haven't uh, saw part one already, uh, feel free to click on the link in the video and uh, you're going to see part one. And without further ado, let's continue with this tutorial. So let's continue and uh, create uh, some more sections. So I just made a note here that uh, we're going to create a portfolio area and also it contact us and then we're going to close up uh, the design with uh, a footer. So without further ado, let's start with the portfolio area. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to duplicate this uh, image and um, I used the Alt and then I dragged and dropped the image so that I, can, uh, so that I could uh, quickly copy it and uh, I'm going to change it uh, for a fill now. And uh, the reason being uh, is that uh, I only want to uh, basically understand the layout, uh, but uh, I don't want to go too much into the details. So for the portfolio section, I'm going to need uh, a title um, in order to describe that this section is the portfolio one. So I'm gonna go here and uh, portfolio. So. I'm also going to quickly copy and paste the style. Um, let's go over here and go um, semi-bold, that's good. And uh, for the portfolio section, I want to communicate uh, um, to the users that uh, they already have uh, experience working on web design projects. So this is what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm just going to quickly duplicate uh, this as well and uh, I'm basically dragging and dropping uh, the textiles in order to maintain consistency throughout the, the website. So this is going to be portfolio item one and uh, I'm gonna go here and kind of uh, gonna make it a little bit uh, bigger. Um, so let's go over here, I'm gonna click on K and I'm going to make this textile a little bit bigger so that it has more visual relevance to it. And I'm also going to change the, uh, the color to, um, to black. And I'm going to make this text smaller so that it fits the entire width. Now, the question is, um, how many can I fit uh, over here? Ideally, I'd like to fit three. So I'm just going to select all of them and uh, I'm just going to duplicate. But as you can see, we're having a problem. Three do not uh, fit really well when it comes to, uh, to this specific layout. So let me search for the layout grids or actually for the rulers. And uh, as I have the rulers over here, I'm just going to drag uh, uh, this one here in order to um, visually see the, where I have the other line. I'm just going to select all of them and simply uh, make them smaller so that they fit uh, pretty well. I'm also going to add a little bit of width over here and uh, this is definitely going to make things easier. And uh, so let's move on, on to the next one and uh, let's rename portfolio item two and three. And uh, we're also going to have uh, a call to action in order to redirect uh, and uh, view more about the project. And uh, I'm just going to keep it uh, as it is. I'm going to change uh, the color to this blue and uh, I'm also going to change the style this one, instead of bold, I think I'm going to go with semi-bold and uh, actually I'm just going to copy exactly the style in order to maintain consistency between uh, the different call to actions on the page uh, since uh, this is something which is really important. And uh, again guys, for this specific project we're not uh, going to use uh, symbols, um, textiles and uh, uh, oops things of that nature, simply because uh, I want to 
keep it uh, uh, fairly lean, uh, straight to the point, uh, and uh, I want you to understand the overall UI design process without uh, focusing too much on uh, things which uh, are going to uh, be part of uh, other videos. So we're definitely going to cover much more on, on that uh, in the channel and uh, I already cover a fair amount on design systems and uh, things of that nature, but for now we're going to just keep it uh, simple. Now uh, we have the portfolio item and uh, now we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, create the contact us session um, section and uh, we're going to go back and uh, uh, add some images in a moment um, but before we, we do that I'm just going to go and create the input forms of the contact us so we want to keep these uh, uh, fairly straightforward one thing that I'm going to do is to um, consider having these uh, with uh, drop shadows maybe um, let's give it a shot over here um, no, actually I think that this stroke uh, is going to be a better option in this case uh, and I'm going to make it outside and uh, let's uh, use a color which uh, uh, is a little bit more suited for input fields so yeah something around these lines let's just keep it uh, uh, basic maybe I'm going to give it a little bit of opacity and uh, the radius I'll give it a six so that uh, the corners aren't going to be squared uh, but they have that uh, that rounded feeling maybe actually didn't catch up yeah now now we got it now we got it um so we go let's add uh, a label to this and uh, gonna call it name very very original I know um, name then we're going to have uh, a few other inputs fields and uh, it's going to be surname then email or actually I'm going to make full name I think it's more practical full name email subject and uh, message and at this point we're going to um, we have all of the um, inputs necessary for the contact us uh, uh, section now we need uh, a button and I'm going to go over here and copy the call us button and uh, we're going to, uh, first of all, we're going to remove the shadow in this case because I don't think it's uh, uh, applicable in this specific scenario. And we're going to change the text to send. Um, I'm also going to make uh, this specific button a little bit smaller because um, I think that it's always good to have uh, <clears throat> two different sizes of, uh, of buttons depending on uh, the, um, the order of importance, the, the hierarchy and um, also to uh, simply have uh, um, two options really to... Uh, so for example, uh, I'm gonna give you a practical example because it's easier <laughs> than actually just, just talking about it. In this case, we really want them to, to call them. Uh, so this button is going to have more emphasis uh, compared to this uh, uh, bottom one. So yeah, that's uh, that's that. Uh, I think that for the contact us, we're fairly good. Um, I, I want to keep this uh, pretty clean and simple. And I'm also going to remove this section over here. And then we're going to create uh, a very basic uh, footer. We're not going to have uh, a lot uh, going on in the footer. Um, however, one trick is uh, I always want to maintain the color palette. So I'm going to make this uh, um, a darker version of the color palette uh, which uh, we used uh, above. And in the footer, I simply want to have uh, the um, same menu as in the header so that uh, users which uh, um, go on the footer 
will have access actually to the um, to the same menu, and they can also see the the logo, which is good for for consistency. And uh, I'm also going to add uh, some fictional um, copywriting text in order to yeah just make this thing uh, real. Um, and let's go over here. Of course, we're just making this up, so you know it's it's not a big deal if the, the copywriting isn't uh, uh, straight to the point uh, or, or it's not uh, like a professional one. Uh, we just need to get the, the feeling really. We're also going to have a privacy policy and uh, also a cookie policy and also a terms and conditions so yeah i think we're we're good with that perfect so i, I would put this uh, in the center um, it's because or actually huh it's an interesting one yeah maybe I'm going to put it in the center and uh, I'm going to make the footer a little bit bigger and I'm going to add uh, a dividing line just to create a little bit uh, more of a hierarchy between uh, uh, these things over here this uh, these elements and uh, yeah, I think we're, we're definitely onto something here. And uh, I'm quite happy with the result. Now for the portfolio uh, items, I'm going to use uh, uh, some of my UI kits. So these are UI kits which uh, uh, I created personally. And uh, we're going to use these for the filler. So let's select uh, one of uh, my UI kits. I'm going to select this one. Um, then I have a lot of uh, dashboards, so I think that I'm going to use uh, a, a dashboard. And uh, one thing uh, which uh, I'm going to use uh, is the screenshot. Um, I have it in Italian, but uh, if you um, do in the utilities, uh, this app called Screenshot, you're going to, to find it. Now, what I'm gonna do is simply copy and paste uh, this uh, screenshot, which uh, I just made. And uh, I'm going to resize it so that it's uh, uh, working in this composition. And uh, I'm also going to select both uh, the screenshot and the rectangle below. And once I select it and the screenshot is above, uh, now one thing which I can do is to click on the user's mask and I'm going to, to mask it essentially. So as you can see now, I have uh, this uh, screenshot masked inside of the of the rectangle, which is a pretty cool trick, if you wish. I'm going to give it uh, a dip. I wanted to give it um, a drop shadow and uh, I think I'm just going to copy the values real quick uh, because I don't want to waste time figuring out uh, how to exactly um, uh, do this. I think it's just easier. So yeah, we have uh, first portfolio item. Yeah, I'm going to make this a little bit. Um, I'm going to just tweak around this a little bit and uh, I'm going to do the same for the second portfolio item and the third as well. Now I'm going to go here and uh, I'm going to select both Simplicity which is an iOS app, you, you like it, which I did. I'm also going to uh, use uh, the B2B Finance dashboard kit so again guys at this point i'm just going to copy and paste uh, um, actually one thing which uh, i can do is simply go here and select copy image uh, it's even easier and uh, at this point i'm just uh, copying it in again guys 
making it smaller, selecting both the rectangle and the image and uh, applying the mask. Okay, I think we're, we're good like this. Um, I won't touch this one because I think it's, it's kind of working. I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger. This wasn't my initial intent, but yeah, I mean, I'm seeing that this uh, this layout is is working as it is right now. So yeah, let's go. Now let's select uh, simplicity iOS. And uh, by the way, guys, you're going to find uh, the link uh, in the description of uh, my UI kits. So if you want to have a look, feel free to do so. And uh, Apart from my UI kits on UI8, there are tons uh, of uh, amazing uh, um, design products. So I would definitely recommend uh, you to check it out. Uh, so click in the link uh, in the description if you're interested. And uh, yeah, let's uh, continue with this one. And uh, I think we're we're doing pretty well. Um, yeah. Didn't change much. All right, I think we get the general idea. So yeah, overall quite pleased. Um, you can always refine it. There's a few things here like this. This text I'm going to figure out a way. I'm just going to to cheat now and do something which I never do. And then just make a rectangle so <laughs> it's uh, it's looking okay so far uh, but uh, yeah guys you get the idea it's all about uh, playing around with concepts at this stage uh, and they're uh, really trying uh, things out so I hope this uh, UI design tutorial was helpful you can find the source of this file in the link in the description and uh, again, guys, if you're um, interested, I'm just going to make this uh, a little bit bigger. If you're interested uh, in uh, my UI kits, you can find uh, <clears throat> the link in the description too. And uh, um, this is pretty much it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please uh, leave uh, a thumbs up. Uh, this really motivates me to create more free content for you guys. And also leave me a comment uh, and uh, um, let me know if you have uh, any specific uh, uh, questions uh, or if you need help with anything related to this project or UI UX design in general. Hope this video was helpful.